Hey everyone, it's Sherry Vegas here and in this resin tutorial today I'm going to show you some of my favorite ways to add metallic detailing onto my resin. The first way that I like to add some metallic detailing to my resin pieces is by using a hot glue gun and either some imitation gold leaf or metallic leaf is what they also call it or what I'm using here which is uh, metallic foil. To make applying my metallic foil a little bit easier I'm just going to be cutting it up into strips and that way I'm not going to be using as much so it's a lot less wasteful and a lot easier to apply the strips than the big sheets. The metallic foils I do find give a different finish to the imitation um, leaf sheets that you get. I find the imitation leaf sheets look a lot more realistic and your metallic foil sheets will have a bit more of a shine. They look a little bit more, I would say, plasticky, but you can get them in a lot of different colors and they are at a cheaper price point. So that's just really the two difference. Then I just start applying my hot glue onto the areas that I wanna add my metallic leaf detailing. Now you can do this in stages. I do find it works a lot better because the reason why your foils will stick to the hot glue is because when you first apply the hot glue, it's gonna have that warmth and still that stickiness. So it makes it a lot easier and it will just adhere to it straight away. If you let the hot glue like fully sort of set and dry, and you wait too long, you'll find it will be a lot harder to get your um, metallic foil or your gold leaf sheets to stick to it. So generally, if you're doing a bigger piece, it's really good to do it in stages, and that way you're applying it when the glue is still a little bit warm. With this technique, you will find that you'll get raised edges where you are adding the hot glue, which I really like on some of my pieces because it gives it more depth and interest and a bit more detail to those pieces. Another thing that I really do like about using this technique is it's so fast. The hot glue only takes a few minutes to set, so it just makes this process really fast. And that's something that I do really like about this particular technique. The other two techniques, there is a little bit of waiting time. So with this one, you can get the detailing done and then move on to your next steps to finish your artwork. And that is something that I really like, the not having to wait for things to dry. And it's super simple to do. Once I've applied my foil or my metal leaf to it, and I've stuck that all down, then I just get a soft bristle brush, like the one I'm using here, and I just use it to dust off that gold. Just removing all of that excess metallic foil, and you can see that it's only stuck to the areas where the hot glue has been applied. The difference I do find between um, the metallic foil and the gold sort of imitation leaf is metallic foil does tend to, when you dust it off, go off into little bits of particles, kind of goes a bit like glittery where I do find um, imitation gold leaf doesn't go into as many small particles. So just make sure that you don't have any other works out while you are dusting off because it does go everywhere or do that outside because I did have little particles of um, sparkly gold bits everywhere through my studio and I had to give it a good clean before I could move on to my next project. And you can just keep applying more hot glue to the areas you want gold detailing and add your foil on top and keep going because it doesn't affect the other areas that you've applied the gold foil, but you can see how it just goes off into little tiny particles. So definitely do this outside or just make sure that you're going to clean very well afterwards because it goes absolutely everywhere. But that is something that I do really like about this technique is if you do decide that you wanna have more, you just keep adding more hot glue and keep repeating that process and it doesn't affect the areas that you've already done. The second way that I like to add some metallic detailing is by creating some liquid metal. So you can use whatever metallic powders you have. I'm using a one from Barnes, which is called Aluminium Bright, and it's this silver color. And then I'm also mixing it in with some acrylic varnish. So you can use whatever brand of acrylic varnish you like. I've put some up on the screen of ones that I use. For today, I'm gonna to be using the satin one, and that's from Atelier. 
I'm pretty sure, but I've used a whole bunch of different acrylic varnishes. They're sold at art supply stores. Nearly every sort of art brand will do some sort of acrylic varnish, and I find that pretty much all of them work exactly the same for this technique. Now, I've just mixed up my pigment powder so obviously if you want to do gold you get gold pigment powder you can mix different pigment powders together to create a new metallic sort of color but for this I've done one part silver to three parts varnish you can also change up that ratio if you want to it's completely up to you I just kind of like to do it this way because I find it applies really well and generally if I am doing this on resin I do two coats the first coat I find will be a bit more sheer because obviously the resin is quite um, slick it's a very you know because it's resin and I find that the um, varnish doesn't stick as well but once you've got one coat down and then you do a second coat on top you get a really solid metallic color for the varnish to dry it takes anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour just depending on the brand that you are using and the temperature of your room when I do the edges, I do like to use a brush to paint it on, but something else that you can do with this liquid metal mixture is get some of the empties from your art supply store. Most art supply stores will sell a whole bunch of different style empty pen versions, and they will also sell a bunch of different bottles. I really like these needle point bottles because you can get some really precise detail and it makes application so much easier. It also means that your liquid metal mixture will last a lot longer once it is in a bottle. You can give it a good shake because the metallic um, bits will sink to the bottom if you do leave it for a bit. So give it a really, really good shake before you do start to apply it because it does separate slightly if it's been a while. And then I just like to do that to add really fine detailing. And it also means that I can do up a bunch of custom sort of metallic colors and I don't just have to stick to the gold and silver that you can get in your metallic pens. And look at how fine that detailing is and it's so incredibly easy to apply. If you do get a little bit in an area that you don't want, it comes straight off as long as you get it before it dries. If you do a piece and you're not happy with your placement, you can always use a little bit of alcohol and wipe it off if it has already dried. But as long as you get it before it sets, it's really easy to get off the resin. And the last way that I like to add metallic detailing to my resin pieces is by using the gold leaf technique. So I've got some imitation gold leaf. Um, obviously, if you wanted to, you could use real gold leaf, but it's just very expensive. So we're going to be sticking with the imitation gold leaf for this technique. And I'm applying baby powder. The reason why I'm applying baby powder first is because sometimes I do find if my resin piece is fairly um, new, like I've only made it a few days ago, it can still have a little bit of tackiness to it and my metallic foil because it's so soft will just cling to areas I don't want it to cling to. By applying the baby powder down first all over my resin piece and then adding my gold leaf glue on top, it just means that my gold leaf only will stick to the areas that the glue is and won't have the ability to adhere to any other areas because the baby powder is protecting the resin underneath. Now I'm just using some gold leaf glue or it's also called gold leaf size and you can get this from pretty much every art supply store. I'm just using a Q-tip to apply it just because if you do not get it out from your brush in time, it will just ruin your brush and I've lost a lot of brushes to gold leaf size just because I've forgotten to clean them in time. So I'm using a cotton tip just to save my brushes. The reason why you need to use gold leaf glue or gold leaf size over just normal more glue is because it's a really slow drying so therefore you've got a lot of time to work with it and to stick your gold leaf to it so this one takes about anywhere from half an hour to an hour before you can start to apply your gold leaf it needs to get tacky first 
If you apply it straight away when the gold leaf um, glue is really sort of wet, you're going to find you're going to smudge it and end up getting the glue everywhere. So you do really need to wait for that glue to get tacky. It's going to feel like sticky tape when you touch it. And that can take anywhere from half an hour to an hour, just depending on the temperature of your room and how fast it dries. So it's really important to wait first before you then add your gold leaf on top. Once you've added your gold leaf on top, you can then press that in. So you can either use your paintbrush to press it in, or you can do a technique called burnishing where you put either a um, piece of baking paper, parchment paper, or a piece of plastic that I've got here and really rub that gold leaf into the glue just to make sure it's fully attached everywhere that you've added that glue. It's called burnishing. And then once you're happy that every bit of the gold leaf is attached to the glue, you can then start to use your paintbrush to sort of dust off the excess. Very similar to the first technique where we dusted off all of that excess from the hot glue. And you can see it's only stuck to the areas where the glue has been applied and that there is quite a big difference between the metallic foil and the imitation gold leaf in color as well as in the shine and the texture because the hot glue will give a raised surface and the normal gold leaf size is going to be nice and flat. So two very different effects that create some really beautiful metallic detailing. Well, those were my top ways of adding metallic detailing onto my resin pieces, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps this video out. And if you are new to my channel and you want to learn more about resin art, then definitely click subscribe as I post new videos every single week. And also go and check out my playlist on resin. I have got a whole bunch of resin videos up there. It's definitely worth checking it out if you are getting into resin. But thank you so much for watching.